the fire happened, it's a complete loss. I bet my staff is freaking out right now because they don't even know what's going on. I don't know, I need to get with Priscilla. I need to see what's going on, get everybody's thoughts on this. I gotta come up with some kind of plan. Well, Priscilla, I've been thinking a lot about this and what to do. I mean, we just had the fire, everything's gone. Uh, I, I guess first off, just let everybody know that nobody's gonna be laid off. Wonderful. And we'll, uh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll keep every, everybody, we'll work it out. I'm sure the community will kick in, you know, and help us out. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. It's not the first time we've been through a disaster um so we can handle this but you know what what are some of the things that you've been thinking about to, doing i mean everything's gone what do we need to do now what do you think well morale's so low with the crew right now and naturally so but i think first off we need to get the pop-up tents up we can bring out a grill coolers ice the beer and uh, uh drinks in there yeah and i can set up everything with hand washing stations and everything to keep our i mean do you think good. do you think that just letting everybody know that their jobs are still going to be here oh, absolutely. will help things. Absolutely, absolutely. That's going to calm everyone down. Okay, good. I mean, so we gets, don't have a plan, but at least we can get them something to go on. All right, so we'll get some tents in here. And mm -hmm. you, did you say grills and stuff? Yeah, we'll get grills, coolers, hand washing stations, everything set up. We can do that right up here in the. And what are we going to be making? Hamburgers, hot dogs, chips. Okay. I'll just have to get an emergency order in, which the, the companies will do for us, no problem. Yeah, okay. So we'll get all that set up. We're still. I mean, we still have the golfers, everything's still going on like normal outside of the restaurant. Um, I guess, you know, we need to work towards getting into the carriage house and setting up kind of temporary operations there. Uh, that means we need to get those bathrooms done that we talked about before. And oh, oh, I almost right. I was looking online and I thought, you know, it, the, unfortunately, and don't maybe talk a whole lot about this, but unfortunately, uh, it's, this is not going to be a problem that we solve overnight. Um, it's going to be going on for a while. So I thought, well, what if we go get like a food truck or a food trailer and get in in here where we can work out of that for a while? That would be amazing. Yeah, that would be. would be so ecstatic with, with the place, with the home because. Yeah, I mean, that's something home. that we can go get. Uh, we'll make sure that everything's up to snuff with it and everything can pass health inspection. You know, I'm not gonna get a brand new one, but we'll get one that looks looks brand new and uh, we'll get it in here and work that out. Um, and then just work towards setting up the whole thing in the carriage house, you know, and going going from there. Perfect. So you Perfect. think everybody's gonna be happy oh, with I that? Oh, I think that would be great. We're, I mean, we'll, you'll have to look into stationary coolers and stuff in the carriage house, but. Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe get a, a cooler and a freezer in there and some yeah. storage area. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that sounds great. Okay, all right, we'll let everybody know. All right. Not to worry, their job's still gonna be here. That's wonderful. And we'll get to rocking and rolling best we can. All right, thank you, sir. All right, thanks. I have been a member here for pretty much my whole life. Actually, my parents got married here back in 1990 uh, before the back nine was even was even here. So literally this place has been like a second home to me my entire life. I learned to swim here. I learned to play golf here. Uh, and now it's a place that I have been able to bring my kids to. So, you know, hearing about the fire, it was just the talk of the town. Everybody found out pretty much immediately. You know, everybody's calling, everybody's texting, and everybody's just devastated. Uh, this place has been, like I said, a home to so many of us, and it's such a fun place to come and hang out. Our kids can play here. We're safe here. We know everybody here, and it's just been, it's just devastating to see, you know, you look out up on that hill and, and the restaurant and the clubhouse isn't there. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a lot, it's a lot to process. Um, but, you know, ideally, we just hope and pray that we're able to rebuild it back, you know, that, that the staff here is able to kind of pull together and, and stick together and, and rebuild something maybe even bigger and better because, you know, our community needs this. We all need a place like this. And so, you know, we just hope and pray that it'll come back and, 
and hopefully it'll be a restaurant and you know the same very similar to what they had a place where you can have music and a place where it has really good food and you know our kids can come here and play and we can come and you know have drinks and eat dinner with our friends and family and yeah so hopefully we can rebuild it I woke up that next morning I think Taylor might have called me and I literally thought that I burned the place down because I closed the night before and I was like, oh my God, did I leave the fireplace on? Did I leave the coffee pot on? Did I leave lights on? What did I leave on? What did I do? And then after that, I was more freaked out about, man, tomorrow's league night. What's gonna happen? Nobody's gonna be there. There's no building. What are we gonna do now? Um, I would like to see it rebuilt. I love the way that it was. It was a lot of fun. We had a good time working there. I moved back here a few years ago and come to work here and I really, really, really love this job. So I absolutely would love to see us rebuild. I would like to have similar to what we had, but I think bigger and better would be great. Um, change the kitchen up a little bit, change the bar up a little bit, have a little more for people as far as the building wise. But I absolutely would love to see the rebuild. I've worked here for four years, and the day of the fire, day after the fire, was complete disbelief. Couldn't believe, didn't believe anybody that told I talked to, I couldn't understand what they were talking about. I, I didn't believe it. I still have a hard time believing what happened, and when I got here and I saw the results of what the fire had done, it was complete shock, and it was unbelievable it's it's still very disappointing and and heartbreaking but uh, you know we've done the best we can with with what we've got and uh, i think we've tried to keep it pretty professional and i think the members have appreciated what we've tried to do and i think it's uh we're looking forward to the rebuild we definitely need to rebuild it's uh and we need to go bigger um, i think this this place can support it i think this area can support it. We'll have people coming from all over the country, Cincinnati, Louisville, Lexington, Maysville. People were coming to this place before uh, the fire. And now if you make it even bigger and better, we'll just draw from a lot you know, larger area. It was a little after three in the morning on a Tuesday morning when I got the call. They couldn't get a hold of David and there was something on fire at the hills. I ran out the door and boots and leggings looking a mess. And I flew in here and I was just thinking, let it be anything else than that restaurant. Let it be any other building but that restaurant. Of course, when I pulled up, it was almost completely gone. The fire department was already here working very hard, but it was just in ashes. There was fire everywhere, things were popping. They were asking if we had ammunition in the building. I was promising them that we did not, but we had aerosol cans, we had pop cans, we had CO2 containers. And they finally got a hold of David and he got here. And just watching the work that we had put in, gone. But thankful that everybody was out of there and it was empty. It was, it was completely a blessing that it was in the middle of the night because we didn't have to worry about anybody being in there because it was a total loss. I just wanted it back. I wanted it back to the same that we had. We were still growing, we were still learning, we were still figuring this golf course, restaurant, events center out. So I wanted it back. I didn't, I wouldn't have changed anything. I mean, we needed more storage. We needed clearly other things in the building, but I didn't care at that point. I just wanted it back. So I got a call from Priscilla, around four o'clock in the morning, uh, saying that there was uh, a fire at the hills. She did not specify what building it was, so it was sort of a toss up. Was it gonna be the maintenance building? Was it gonna be the, uh, the clubhouse? So when I got here, obviously it was the, the clubhouse. Um, sort of heartbroken at the time, but at the same time, there was nothing I could do about it. and. Luckily, nobody was hurt. I think that was, <laughs> I think that was everybody's biggest concern when we, you know, when we found out was, you know, nobody was in the building, everybody was okay. I text and called my employees, let them know what was going on, make sure that they weren't gonna freak out when they got here, but also where that they needed to park 
at the gate instead of coming all the way to the shop. It, obviously, I think that was sort of, you know, with the amount of first responders here, it was going to be sort of evident. But um, so it was, it was, it was intense. But once everybody got here and we got our equipment out, uh, we just started doing our thing that day. You know, I mean, I, you know, going around and seeing the destruction of the clubhouse. It was hard to think that, uh, you know, how it was going to be, you know, immediately after the fire. But we had golfers that day and we had a lot of people come up and, and want to see what was happening and still support the club. So, yes, we're going to rebuild. It's going to be good. Um, what exactly it is, you know, that's going to be a discussion that we're going to have to have in the future. So the actual night of the fire, I was here. I wasn't here as an employee that night. I was just here as a guest. My daughter had a dance recital in the basement. We were here with family and friends. We all ate dinner, had a couple drinks. After the recital had let out, I had taken a bunch of the dance girls around on the course on the golf carts, and it was just a typical, normal Monday night. That night, I went to bed like any other night, and Early in the morning, my husband was tapping me and woke me up, repeatedly saying that the hills had burnt and that it was gone. I wasn't quite awake yet, and once he really got my attention, I instantly started bawling. It had been my place of work for the past several years, and it was my home away from home. Um, I didn't really know if we were going to have jobs. I didn't know how bad it was until we drove up on the scene and seen it, and it was it was definitely the most positive thing that we had in the county. It was safe enough to bring your kids and let them run around, and it was also good to where you could come out on a Friday night and have entertainment and have a couple beers with your friends. It was, just, it was very shocking because it was taken in a second, and the night before was so normal. Obviously, I'm waiting and have waited for so long to see the outcome and what's gonna happen because our county is so small and we are such a tight-fitted county and we all are very supportive in things like this. When things happen in the county, we all come together. I don't really think I would change anything. Um, it was always busy. It was the same people every week. We still have people calling today to come to the restaurant and see, and some people still don't even know that it's burnt. We've had people come and um, actually show up wanting to eat, and we've had a go through the story of what's happened and relive it time and time again when we're on the phone telling people that it's no longer here and that we're just waiting to see what the next step is going to be. So I am eager to see the next step. Um, if changes do happen, I'm totally game in. Um, I'm never going to leave. As long as it's here, I'm going to stay here because this is my home away from home.